Here we're going to be looking at a deferred payment contract here for purchasing long-term assets on a long-term credit contract using either notes, bonds, or equipment contract. In our example, we're just going to be looking at an equipment contract, which we're going to equate to a notes payable here. Uh, but we have to properly if reflect the cost here to account for the assets purchased on these long-term credit contracts. And they're done here at the present value of the consideration exchanged at the date of the transaction. And we'd use the imputed interest rate here. So let's look at our example here. Corporation A purchased the machine here in 1231X1 for $77,000. And they're paying $20,000 down and agreeing to pay the balance here in five equal payments of $11,400 each at the end of each of those years here, 1231 uh, at the end of the year here, with the assumed interest rate here of 12%, which is implicit here in the purchase price. Okay, so Corporation A would use this cash exchange price of the asset here acquired if determinable as the basis here for recording the asset and measuring the interest element from the payments, in interest element in these payments here to approximate the fair value of the asset. So in our example here, we have two things that we have to deal with. We have to deal with these annuity payments here and we have to determine their present value here. And then we have the down payment. Well, we know what its present value is here. So summing our annuity payments with our down payments, we're going to come up with the amount here that represents the fair value of this machine here. And that's going to be the amount that we're going to be capitalizing here on this machine or this asset here. So first for our present value of our annuity payments, uh, remember we had a 12% interest here, five payments at the end of each year of $11,400 each. And, and the, the present value of these uh, uh, using the present value factor here will determine the present value of annuity payments here to be $41,094. Now we'd add our down payment here, that down payment that was made at $20,000, add that to our uh, present value of annuity payments, we get the capitalized value here of $61,000. $94. Now, what we have to do is we have to determine the interest element uh, in these payments here, and we have to set up an amortization schedule, and we'll just use the effective interest method here, and we'll use the 12% interest rate. So the first thing we have is our balance here. That was the $41,094. Remember, that was the amount up here, the present value of the annuity payments here. Now, what we have to do is we'll set up our payments here, and we'll just call it a notes payable, a payment here at the end of each year here of $11,400. And then we have to determine the interest expense here. To do that here, you just start out with the, and then this 41094 that's at the date here of issue here. So take that $41,094 times 12%, you're going to come up with our interest expense for the end of the year one here at $4,931 here. Subtracting that here from our note payment or our payment here of 11400 and we're going to have a reduction in principal here of $6,468. And then that reduction in principal, you just take that from your beginning balance here of $4,194 and you're going to come up with $34,626. So we just proceed on amortizing our, uh, determining our interest expense here through this amortization schedule. $34,626 $34, times 12% is going to give us our new interest expense here of $4,155 and then we just continue amortizing it down here. So just to, what we're going to take off here is our uh, payment amount here. Total payments is $57,000. And then this interest expense, it represents the discount here on these, this equipment contract here. And the total amount here is $15,904. So now let's go up and look at how we'd record this here. And we'll just do it in key account form here. So we'll start out with our equipment here. And then I've got it noted here, either it's on the balance sheet or on the income statement here. So the equipment account here, uh, what would that include here? And that would be its capitalized value. We went over that. It was that $20,000 payment here plus the present value of those annuity payments are $41,094. Total amount here would be uh, $61,094. Now this is at the purchase date. So that's what would be recorded here at the purchase date. And that's the fair value of the present value of those payments, the down payment plus the uh, present value of those annuity payments. Now let's look 
at the, uh, we'll move down here to our discount here on our notes payables because that's another debit amount here. And that would have been debited here for $15,904. So we got a debit here of $61,094 here in our equipment and a debit amount here in a discount on notes payable here of $15,904. Again, at the purchase date. So we need a credit balance here. So our credit balance here, we go to our notes payable here or on our on for this machine on exchange, I'm calling it here. So at the purchase date, we would have credited our notes payable for $57,000. And then we also had another credit amount here that would reduce our cash here by $20,000 for that initial payment that was made, the down payment here. Now let's look at uh, what would be remaining here. And uh, we can look here first at our notes payable. Remember we had that uh, those cash payments that we make at the end of each year for $11,400. So those would be recorded and we'd uh, for each year here and then we get down to a total amount here of $57,000 which would cancel out our notes payable here we've taken care of that and then the cash amount here uh, on that notes payable here we would have uh, credited or reduced our cash here by that $11,400 for each year here so our total cash amount here was for uh, payments here would have been $77,000 on this contract here that was the amount of the purchase price of the machine here so we've taken care of that here. Now let's go down and look at our discount here in our notes payable. Again, that's on our balance sheet here. So that would be the amortization amount here. That was that amount that we amortized or the interest expense that we calculated for each year. So we would reduce our credit, our discount on our notes payable uh, for each period here. And then the debit amount here would go to the interest expense on our income statement. So we debit our interest expense, or that's what we'd be recognized here as our annual interest payments here. And um, that wasn't a, that was the, what we imputed here, and that was what we had to determine here is with that interest element here in, the, in these payments. So here we've got our, we've credited out all our discount on notes payable here so we've taken care of that we start out with fifteen thousand nine hundred and four dollars and then with the amortized amount we come up with fifteen thousand nine hundred and four dollars and then we recognize their interest expense here total amount here fifteen thousand nine hundred and four dollars all right so this is how we'd handle one of these equipment contracts and i did it in terms of a notes payable here and an annuity uh, on our notes payable so just remember here uh you have to when you're doing this you come up with your capitalized value on your equipment here you would have uh, whatever cash whatever your present value of your cash amount here of, of those what they would be worth here and we did it as a cash payment here the cash down payment plus the present value of the uh, payments that we'd had to make here in the future all right so that takes care of uh, our deferred payment contract. And one other thing here, just to talk about this capitalized value here on these equipment, that's based on these on our cash payment here. But uh, if there's any installation charges or whatever on this machine, that would also have to be included in the capitalized amount here or any other thing. There's a whole uh, number of things that could be included. But I'm just going through this example, just trying to look at the basics here and how we determine this capitalized value here.